the stone rejected in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. This is Father Angel with the Orthodox Church. Welcome to the Gospel for February the 4th, 2022, according to St. Mark. Then he began to speak to them in parables. A man planted a vineyard and set a hedge around it and dug a place for the wine bath and built a tower. And he leased it to vine dressers and went into a far country. Now at vintage time he sent a servant to the vine dressers that he might receive some of the fruit of the vineyard from the vine dressers. And they took him and beat him and sent him away empty handed. Again he sent them another servant, and at him they threw stones, wounded him in the head, and sent him away, shamefully treated. And again he sent another, and him they killed, and many others beating some and killing some. Therefore, still having one son, his beloved, he also sent him to them last, saying, They will respect my son. But those vine dressers said among themselves, This is the hare. Come, let us kill him, and the inheritance will be ours. So they took him and killed him, and cast him out of the vineyard. Therefore, what will the owner of the vineyard do? He will come and destroy the vine dressers, and give the vineyard to others. Have you not even read this scripture? The stone which the builders rejected has become the chief cornerstone. This was the Lord's doing, and it is marvelous in our eyes. And they sought to lay hands on him, but feared the multitude, for they knew he had spoken the parable against them. So they left him and went away. Glory be to thee, O God, glory be to thee. How terrible it is to talk about God and yet reject God. What good is that? But that is the mischief and the evil works of the devil. He will talk about you some about, about he will talk to you about something and he will not let, tell you the truth at all. That is why the stone that was rejected. How was the stone rejected? Because they didn't, they never accepted him. Now, if I talk about Christ, if I was to talk about Christ, and Christ this, and Christ that, and God that, and God that, but teach you that which is against the law of God, even if I am telling you, well, let me tell you, now God is telling us to kill each other. Now, God is telling us to go to war with these in defense people. Now, God is telling us to abort the children. Now, if I was saying that, even if I'm saying Christ or whatever, I'm just blurting out lies. The week started with God telling us you are blind. You cannot see the reality of the world with the eyes of your soul. And that is why the devil entered into one part of the church, of the real church, and took it away, made their leaders reject the apostolic tradition, reject the councils, and even reject God. So they kept God and the Bible up to a point, but they teach against the teachings of God. Are they truly from God? Of course not. They are rejecting the only rock. It is not that the rock is Peter. Christ is the only rock. And if we were to ask Peter who the rock is, he already told us in his letter, in his epistle, that the rock is only Christ. So we cannot build anything that goes against him, lest we also reject the cornerstone. Think about it. Pray to God that he will enlighten your mind and your heart, 
that he will give you strength and come to the Orthodox Church. For, for blessed is our God, always, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen.